So I have been creating videos here on YouTube for a minute and I have had a lot of different sets and setups because I started out basic and continued to grow from there. I also had to change where I recorded a lot because of military life. But now that we are stationary and someplace that they had better bury me in the backyard like I'm not moving, I wanna take you on a tour through my studio because I have a bunch of different setups I wanna walk you through for different ideas for you and problems and solutions that you might need. So so let me take you on this journey together. Take action now. By the way, my name is Desiree. If you're looking to grow your business with better social media and content marketing, take action now. Hit that subscribe button and the bell below. So the way to start this off is to go to the front door. So let's do that. So my studio actually starts with this on the door. I got this at Vid Summit and it's very important. So if the door is open, you can come in. If the door is closed, this sign tells you you can't come in. Now I also have internet here at the door. So if you follow this blue cable, it's gonna take you all the way over to my computer because we need to be hard networked in for Zooms and live streams and stuff. I have a pretty big space. This is an unfinished basement. So this side is nothing yet. But for right now, we have where I work and film and then I have this like seating area for my family, for my husband, for kids, um, that kind of stuff. So this is where I work. I have a desk. Um, that works really well. I have like these holes for cables and then I have this stand that will go up. Um, it has the little buttons here and then it can raise it so I can stand. I have my setups for different things. So this is a great way for me to do Zoom calls, talk to people and sometimes I will do podcasts here um, if depending on how things are going with my setup. So my blue Yeti mic here that's connected with the USB cable and then I have my Logitech 1080p. This is the camera I've been using to film my YouTube videos with since the very, very beginning. So when you see those videos of me with like a white background, this is the camera that I'm doing it on. Now this contraption here is my Plexi Cam. The Plexi Cam allows for me to very easily like move this over to whoever I'm talking to. That way I can like put it over their face and it makes it look like I'm making eye contact with them because I'm looking here, not like having the camera up here here and then like I'm looking down and so it gives me better eye contact opportunities. And then as far as like desk stuff goes, this is the keyboard that comes with it with the mouse. I have this here for a cup warmer because you need your, your tea. I have a uh, vitamin D light here because it gets pretty gloomy where I live in Michigan and this is like a, a soft squishy mouse rest. And then underneath I have my desk cycle, which I use when I'm like sitting, doing nothing, reading something, TikTok scrolling, I can pedal and stay active. And then I have my space heater. Now for lighting, I have just my ring light on. Now I've had a ring light this is probably one of the first lights I bought and I've used it for a long time. Now I don't like them anymore for like face on cause it gives you alien eyes. But what I like for this is it gives it a nice fill light for my set here. So now let's talk about the set. So this is what the majority of people see now when I'm filming my YouTube videos. So let me walk you through like what this is. So this under here, is a seven foot long uh, piece of plywood. I actually had to make it. I glued and screwed two pieces together and it was actually a previous set piece. And this is a 10 by 10 brick backdrop that you can get for like photography. I bought this big shelf because I am a big collector. I am a big nerd and I'm a big supporter of other creators. And so I wanted to have a place to put everything up. I've had so much of this stuff in boxes for years and I've acquired over different situations and I just wanted to finally have a place to put it. And I have strategically placed some specific things behind here just, you know, I say things like make it happen a lot. You know, this is a play ball for the play button for YouTube I got from the Carlin Brothers. My starter Pokemon is a Bulbasaur, something I do for my kids. I have this vintage camera I got at flea market, um, my little um, bow from Pixar. I have Mr. Beast burger bag. I have this, which is my wedding invitation. Uh, fun story, I have a whole um, video about my Mario Kart themed wedding that I had. And then just some other sort of fun stuff. But I also have, the duck. Puddles the duck is from our sponsor, StreamYard. Now you need to have a really sweet setup for live streaming. And since I've been doing this for so long, I created a setup specifically for live streaming. So that's what this is. So this is where I live stream and record my videos. First and foremost, I have 
this stand here. Now this stand is amazing because it just latches on to my desk and it comes with all these different arms. So it came with the boom arm mic. I have this attachment for if I need just like a small, simple light, or I can hook other things up onto it, like a, like a phone holder. So if I wanna do vertical videos and I have the big camera holder here attached to my teleprompter. Now, if I have something really in depth that I wanna share with you guys and very thoughtful and data driven, I will script it out. And then I just put my phone right here and I hit record and I do it. Now, What's nice is I don't have to record through my camera anymore. My camera is now hooked up via USB to my laptop and I can record to QuickTime on my, my computer. So my camera and my mic, which is one of these bad boys, I'll have a link by the way, to all the stuff that I, I have in my office for you to check out in the description down below. But I have this new mic and then it's connected to the Elgato Wave which allows for us to have more audio control. It kind of acts as like a, a mixer. And because this mic is an XLR mic, an XLR is this kind of plug versus a USB. I needed this to be the translator for this to go to my computer. I have this all set up so I can just open my laptop, open QuickTime or StreamYard. And I have this really nice setup that I can do for live streaming. And so it works really, really well. And again, I'll have links to all of this live streaming gear that I'm using in the description below. So like I said, so I have this one, which is what I've been using for years. It's my basic startup one. I've recorded all my podcasts with this mic. This has been fantastic. A great option for anybody. Simple lighting, webcam and a mic. But this is like what I have leveled up to as like being a creator time is recording for over four and a half years. So this was a big deal um, upgrade for me. I also want to address some of the lights I have here. So I have these box lights here, these fill lights, because these are really helpful. So this is a soft box and it just goes over this digital uh, piece right here. What I'm going to be doing is actually mounting them to my ceiling because your girl's clumsy and I do not want to be tripping over these because I almost always trip over this and that's one of the things that happens. Now I have plans for more improvements and things like that besides mounting the lights to the ceiling. I also need to make sure I have an ethernet cable for my laptop. Um, I actually have to get the thing fixed, but ethernet cable for my laptop. Uh, I wanna do some kind of light back here, like a nice like color, some color pop lights and probably soundproofing because it's not great. I actually have a giant chalkboard I bought to put over here on this side and put up, but I have to figure out how to get down here because it's really big. So I'm doing these different things. So I wanted to show the studio for you with where it is because I'm 90% done. And I'm really happy with how it's turning out. I feel like my personality is shining through and the tech is accomplishing what I want it to do. No matter where you are in your journey, remember what you have is the best place to start. But it's also important to know that if you're going to commit to this, consider playing around and trying new things that might work for you with what you're doing. I have bought a lot of different pieces of gear and I have a lot of different things. In fact, in here, in this blue tote here and in this closet is just a bunch of gear I've bought that I don't use or has a very specific purpose and I've used it for different times. Just test things out, try things out and see what works for you to improve the quality of what you're doing because quality does matter, especially as you continue to grow as a creator. And if you're looking again for a great way to create quality content, super easy, check out StreamYard, the sponsor for this video and my favorite live streaming platform that has been my ride or die for creating content for my YouTube channel, for my podcast, Women of YouTube, and so much more. Now, if you wanna know more about how you can be using StreamYard to do things for your business like record, watch this video I have for you right here to get you started and watch this video here because YouTube thinks you are really going to like it. And until next time, I'll see you soon.